Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and I'm going to be showing you how to set up Remote Desktop. Alright, Remote Desktop is a program where you can remote other people's computers from a different location, from another computer. So say I have a computer in my room right now, I can access the computer that's in, that's across my house from the computer that's in my room. It's really cool, especially if you're at work and you're, you're if you're at your house and you need to access something at work, like a file or something like that. That's really helpful. Okay, you're gonna go down Start, right-click on Computer, and click on Properties. You're gonna want to click Remote Settings. By default, it will have Don't allow connections to this computer. It'll have this selected. You're gonna want to select Allow connections from computers running any version of Remote Desktop. You're going to click Select Users. You're going to click Add. And then you're going to click Advanced and Find Now. And you want to, these are the three accounts I usually add. I usually add Administrator, the account that you use, and then Guest. I usually add these three accounts, and you just click on it. You click OK, and then OK, and then it should add it right there. You're going to click Apply. Okay, that was all done on your host computer. Now we, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the other computer that you have that you're going to be that you're going to use to remote access into your host computer. All right, you're going to open up remote access. You can either search remote desktop or you can what I like to do is click run, enter and then type this in mstsc.exe click OK alright so now what you want to do is you want to go onto the host computer you're going to type ipconfig or not ipconfig cmd now that the end you want to find the IPv IP address of your host computer. So on your host computer you want to click CMD IP config. You want to go up, find your IPv4 address. It's going to be for your Ethernet adapter local area connection. Or if you're on a laptop or you're using a Wi-Fi, it would be your wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection. Your IPv4 address 192 blah blah blah. Okay, it'll be 192.168.1. something probably. Okay, so remember that. So you're going to want to copy that. You're going to remember remember that that's the IP of your host computer. Now you want to go to the other computer and you're going to want to type that in right here. Okay, after you have the IP address, you're going to click connect. All right, you're going to click use other account if it's the first time. You're going to want to type in the username of that, or of the account you're going to be into on that computer, and then the password. And then OK. This will come up. You should just click yes. And you are in. It's that simple. Now, that's how you remote access into a computer that's on your network. All right. You will have to port forward if you want to access a computer from a different network. I will show you how to do that now. You're going to want to open up your internet. You're going to type in the IP address of or the d default gateway of your router and to find that, you're going to go back into uh, CMD. You're going to do IP config again. And instead, right below IPv4, it'll have the default gateway. You're going to want to type that into your uh, search bar. Oh. Okay. After you type it in, it should come up. Most of the time, it will be. Uh, 
192.168.1.1 Alrighty. Admin admin is the usual password or you can just Google your or admin admin is the usual username and password or you can just Google your router's default password. You're going to want to click applications and gaming and this is how you set up port forwarding. I usually just have RD for remote desktop. The port is 3389, that's the port you use for remote desktop. You're going to want to click both and remember that uh, IP address that you use to remote desktop into your host computer you're going to want to put that right here if you go back into IP config it's your IP address IP version 4 address it's the same thing you use to type in the into your other computer to remote desktop into it alright you want to click enable and you're done port forwarding okay you want to want to go to Google and type in what is my public IP and your public IP will show up right here alrighty now you want to you want to go on to the other computer you're done with your host computer now actually you're not if you would like to add more than one computer on this is the problem I faced when I was set, uh, setting this up if you want to set up more than one computer, just use 3390 and then 3391 and 3392 for however many computers you want. And do the same thing above 3390 or 3391 or 3392. Back the same IP addresses above and then enable. Okay, just save settings. Okay go back into your non-host computer click open up remote desktop again and instead of the IP address that you put in the first time you're gonna put in your public IP address Oops, you're gonna want to type in your public IP address alright colon 3389 or 3390 or 3391 for each computer that you add. But since we only have one, it'll be 3389. You're going to want to click connect and you do the same thing as you did earlier. You type in the username and the password and you should be able to remote desktop from outside of your network. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, rate and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can personal message me or you can comment down below. I uh, hope this video helped you and thank you for watching.